Good day viewers, this is 300 Plus Academy where all we do is exam tutoring, ensuring that you ace uh, your next exam. This lecture video is going to be about the fast approaching WIAC chemistry uh, practical alternative uh, B. Uh, this time around, we'll be looking at salt analysis. Uh, what is our salt exactly going to be like? So. Uh, this year, uh, for the salt analysis, we're going to be given a salt tagged F. And this salt F is going to be ammonium uh, triosocarbonate 4. Recall that our uh, carbonate is actually a divalent uh, radical. And when you look at the ammonium, ammonium is NH4 plus so uh, this plus one this is minus two hence we need this twice nh4 uh, plus uh, to be able to balance the two negative charge ends uh, this is the formula for ammonium carbonate so you're going to be given a salt tagged f and that salt is actually uh ammonium charge carbonate for as you can see in the image displaying ammonium charge carbonate for is actually a white uh, solid so what are the probable question we can have in the uh, salt analysis for sample f that's uh, ammonium carbonate let's very quickly uh, look at that so what exactly should our question look like for this sample f talking about ammonium carbonate as you can see on your screen uh, the instruction says put all of f in a test tube and add about 10 cm cube of water stir and test uh with a litmus paper divide the solution into two uh, portions of course talking about carbonate we all know that all trials of carbonate for anything trials of carbonate are insoluble in water they are insoluble except sodium carbonate potassium carbonate and of course ammonium carbonate these three here are the soluble carbonate so in the case of f when they say f plus water f is going to dissolve to give a colorless solution and when you test the uh, resulting solution with a uh, uh, litmus paper this time around testing with a uh, red litmus paper uh, the litmus paper is going to turn blue telling you that this solution is alkaline and the fact that F dissolves in water uh, simply means that uh, F is a soluble salt. If you don't want to write soluble salt, you can say F is ionic. Remember that water is a polar solvent. Water is a polar solvent. And any salt or any sample that must dissolve in water must simply be ionic. So we can record that, okay? Uh, F is a soluble salt, or we say is an ionic uh, salt. And uh, looking at the test of the litmus, we simply say the solution is uh, alkaline. And why is the solution going to be uh, alkaline here? Since the salt F is actually ammonium carbonate, okay, let this be NH4 to CO3 plus water. We've dissolved this in water. So what is going to be formed here is going to be aqueous ammonia, NH4OH. But because I have two here, this is going to be 2NH4OH. Okay, let me balance this. Put in two here plus H2CO3. Of course, this being unstable, you're looking at H2O and uh, probably carbon peroxide. Okay. So when you look at it, you're basically left with this alkaline uh, aqueous solution here. This is ammonium carbonate combining with water. So if we test that particular solution with a uh, red litmus paper, this has the ability, that's ammonium hydroxide, has the ability uh, to turn the litmus paper uh, blue. And that ends that a particular question. That's talk, looking at the solubility test so moving on to the next uh, question as you can see on your screen we were told that uh, to the first portion add sodium hydroxide in drops 
and then in excess and warm the resulting uh, mixture. Now look at it, uh, F, solution F, solution F, plus sodium hydroxide in drops and then in excess. When we add sodium hydroxide in drops and in excess to F, there will be no visible reaction or you simply say no precipitate uh, form. In the case of a precipitate not being formed, uh, what we would have suspected here would have been the group 1 uh, metal sodium, uh, potassium, and then, uh, of course, we can suspect uh, ammonium ion. But when we probe further, now we were told to warm. We are told to warm this. Now, a colorless gas with a choking smell is evolved. And this gas turns moist red litmus paper blue. Talking about uh, turning uh, moist red litmus paper blue, that means the gas here is an alkaline or basic gas. And when we look at gases, they can either be acidic, they can be neutral, and then they can be alkaline. When you look at it, ammonia is the only alkaline gas. Other gases are either neutral or acidic. So the fact that this is even able to turn moist red litmus paper blue is enough uh, to uh, begin to look at uh, ammonia gas from ammonium ion. And uh, to further confirm ammonia, uh, when you see, as you can see in the diagram on your screen, when the ammonia gas comes in contact with HCl, denser white films of ammonium chloride, NH4Cl, NH4Cl, dense white films of ammonium chloride, that's NH3 plus NHCl, NH3 plus HCl, giving you these white films of ammonium chloride is going to be formed and that really confirms that this gas evolved here is ammonia uh, gas. And as you can see in that question, I, uh, the question says alternatively, if we have uh, a situation where we are directly adding sodium hydroxide, aqueous sodium hydroxide, directly to the solid F, not a solution now, directly to the solid F. If we do this, if the question had come like, add sodium hydroxide directly to the solid, we would still have uh, exactly this, a colorless gas with a choking smell would be evolved, uh, which is going to turn moist red lit more paper blue, and from then to, uh, white films with uh, conk HCL stopper, and then you record your inference this way so that ends that uh, question so moving on to the next question uh we were told to the second portion uh of the solution add few drops of barium chloride followed by ss dilute uh hydrochloric acid so uh, when we add barium chloride we're going to have a white precipitate now on adding uh, dilute acid in excess, that particular precipitate is going to dissolve. So we say the precipitate, the white precipitate, which is then soluble in excess dilute uh, HCl. And in the process, there is an evolution of a colorless, odorless gas, which turns lime water uh, milky. Of course, here you can add uh, the fact that uh, because this gas here is carbon peroxide, uh, you can add that it turns uh, moist uh, blue litmus faintly uh, red, telling you that that's an acidic gas, and uh, that's going to be CO2 gas from CO3 to minus from trouser carbonate 4, in that way, uh, CO3 to minus uh, confirmed. Look at it very well again. You're adding barium chloride. With that particular solution, if you're going to have a white precipitate, and that particular precipitate will dissolve in SS dilute HC and in the process, a gas which turns lime water milky is going to be uh, liberated. Now, in the course of this uh, particular um, salt analysis, can we be told to directly eat F? Now, let's look at it. Uh, NH4 to CO3. Can we be told to directly eat F? If we, do, if we are told to do this, this will be 2 NH3 plus um, H2O plus CO2. 
all those three here they are colorless gas they are colorless this is ammonia gas it is colorless this is steam it is colorless and this is carbon peroxide it is colorless How, can we be told to uh uh eat this although i doubt it but as you can see in the uh, diagram on your screen when we are told to uh eat this uh, the first one we can identify uh, when we eat the uh, ammonium carbonate in the test tube as you can see uh the first one uh, the first uh, gas that we can identify, we can use our uh, red litmus, and you can see there that it suddenly turns blue, and that confirms uh, the presence of ammonia uh, gas. Also, we can use a cobalt two chloride paper. Yes, cobalt two chloride paper, CoCl two cobalt two chloride paper. Um, you see that it it, it suddenly turns. Uh, pink it suddenly turns pink that's where we are uh, test with uh, our first team but in the case of carbon peroxide this is where you know we've been able to test for this we've been able to test for this as you can see in the diagram on your screen but in the case of carbon peroxide it becomes difficult so what we do or what we are going to need here is that we're going to need lime water we're going to need lime water and in this setup, as you can see, uh, the, the first uh, tube uh, is going to contain uh, H2SO4. Now, that H2SO4, when we eat the, this particular sample, that H2SO4 is going to help us to remove carbon for, uh, to absorb uh, the ammonia gas. And then you can see that after that, on the uh, far left, you're going to have the lime water in another tube. Now, after all of the ammonia gas has been removed by the H2SO4, the carbon peroxide is going to go into the lime water, making it to turn uh, milky. And that way we can confirm that, yes, uh, we have ammonia using our uh, red litmus paper. We have cobalt 2 chloride paper to confirm the presence of uh, water. And then we have our lime water to confirm uh, the presence of carbon peroxide. Can we be told to it? Um, everything is actually possible. But as far as sample F is concerned, for this alternative to, uh, for this uh, uh, chemistry practical alternative B, uh, these are the uh, probable question uh, we can get and with that we've come to the end of salt analysis uh, do not forget hit the subscribe button share with your peers writing alternative uh, B for chemistry practical uh, YAC 2024 from myself and the entire team it's bye for now